Hi, this is Kevin Toppenberg from Family Physicians of Greenville in Greenville, Tennessee. I wanted to show a graphic utility for configuring Vista that we've been working on. I'm kind of excited about it. It does some features that I've been wanting to have for Vista for some time. So I'm going to run through some of the tabs and show it off. First thing I want to show you is uh, the uh, skin here that you notice. You notice it's a uh, not a standard Windows look. If you go up here to change skin, go to Ivory, for example, wait a couple seconds, and it changes the skin. So I think that's pretty cool. All right, that's just uh, eye candy, though. All right, we have four tabs here. The first one is Users, the second one is Settings, then we have Patients, and then we have Advanced. And I'm going to go through each of these one at a time. Users are divided into active and inactive users, depending on what the value of their disuser field is. And that lets you uh, maintain people in the database but not have all of them appearing every time you want to use someone. So let's go here and look at uh, particular users. Uh, there was a whole bunch of users here, and I pared that down a little bit. But let's click on, say, Dr. One. And here you'll see the various fields, the name of the field, and here's the values. And then here we can change the name. So let's say, uh, let's call it Welby Marcus. And then we're going to click Apply. And it says, are you sure? And it tells you exactly what it is that it's writing to the database. And you say Save. And it refreshes the list over here. So now we have a Marcus Welby. So that would be an easy way for um, people setting up a new system to change this information here into a doctor that they're ready to start using. If you want to inactivate a user, um, if you go to this disuser field right here and, um, and click to yes, then it will um, make it an inactive user. And I'd, Fail to notice, uh, fail to mention earlier. If you hover over here, it will give you the help uh, field for that particular field, which I think is nice. Okay, so that's pretty much it for the settings. I mean, for the users field or tab. Let's go onto the settings tab. Um, I picked four settings that I thought would be most likely to be useful during um, initial configuration. That's kernel, kernel system parameters, practice locations, RPC broker, and devices. So let's look at uh, kernel system parameters. If you click here, it again has the various fields. You can click on things such as the intro text, and here's the text that pops up. And you can scroll around in it, and you can edit it. And if you make any modifications, it will let you say apply. But since I'm not going to modify it right now, I'm going to say done. And um, if you have, for example, a pointer to a file or to another, that one actually appears to be a, um, a text field. Let's click down here to default institution. It will pop up a box that shows all of the various available pointers for that, uh, for that field. And you can either select it or here I'm going to cancel out. Let's go on to practice locations. So if you wanted to set up your own office, you could then just edit this one and uh, get your data in. Let's look at RPC broker settings. Um, he here it has the domain name and it has the listener. Listener is a, a subfile, so we're going to click on that subfile. And here we have another window that pops up that lets us edit subfiles. And here's the rec records in here, which we have ER EHR Ubuntu. And then within this subfile, there's yet another subfile, uh, which has the port, and it'll this stuff uh, actually handles multiple subfiles, I guess arbitrary level deep, and there you can edit that one. So I'm going to say done, done, and then there's devices, and these would all be like the printers and the null device, which gives some people trouble, and so those can all be edited. Let's go on to the next tab, which is patients. Here we have our various patients here. They can be edited. Um, you can say add a patient. So let's add a new patient here called um, ZZ um, Patient Sally. And let's say Sally is a female. Her date of birth is, let's go ahead and say two years ago. Okay. And 
let's just leave it at that. We're going to apply. And now we have Sally as a new patient. But you say, I've got a thousand patients I need to add, and that's going to be an, an awkward thing to do one at a time. So I have a batch add. And it will let you uh, add a variety of fields. So first of all, the first thing we need is a template. You see that this is empty. So we're going to go up here, and uh, these are the default fields. And I've put in s um, some fields that are required in most databases. Let's add one more field for the, um, if I can find the telephone number, let's say phone number residence, add. And then we will save this template. And it's coming up with a dialog box. I put a default value of patient demographics import template. It's saved in comma separated value or CSV format. So we're going to save that. And then we get a text box that pops up here that says, You have created an empty registration template. You should now edit it with your favorite spreadsheet applications such as Microsoft, Excel, or OpenOffice, filling it with patient demographic data. Hint, try just a few patients initially to make sure all is working. Built-in safeguards will prevent duplicate registrations on subsequent runs. Okay, so we're gonna, so we've got our templates, we're gonna say done. Still don't see anything here, and that's because we need to load it in. Now, for the sake of the demo, I've already, um, well, okay, let me, let me bring up the, uh, the demo data. Here I've launched Microsoft, I'm sorry, uh, OpenOffice Calc, and I'm importing the CSV, CSV file. I'm going to take off. It's not comma separated. In fact, it is tab separated. And we're going to say OK. And it's loading. OK. Now, here on the top row, I have the name of the field. The second row is the, uh, the number. And you can scroll over here, and it'll have whatever fields it is you added. Uh, I don't have the telephone number here because this was from a former run. You put in p each patient goes on one row, and you put, like, name, sex, date of birth. And then over here it says, uh, when you're done, save it in CSV format using tab as a field delimiter and also text. So we're going to come back here. We're going to say file. Uh, save. Actually, I haven't made any modifications, so it doesn't let me save. So I'm just going to exit out of here. Okay, we're now back into our GUI um, configuration. I'm going to say load template filled with data. And I'm going to pick demo uh, data. And here we have the data that's been imported. So you can uh, edit it here directly if you need to. Um, or let's say register patients. So it just said there's three successful registrations, zero patients were already registered, and zero failures. If there had been problems with a particular failure, it would have left those ones there to be corrected, and it would have uh, removed the ones that were successful. You can then save the data back out to another CSV for further manipulation, or you can edit it here directly. So let's say done. And you see now we have here these extra patients that have been added, and they can be further edited if need be. Last tab is called Advanced, and here you can actually pick any file you want. For example, I was recently learning about Bulletin file. Let's click on there, and then it brings up all the particular records in that file. And let's do XTR or XTR, and there it is. And so then here is the uh, details for that particular file. And this should be any file on the system. I'm going to go back and one show one more thing. You notice here there's a two tabs, which are basic and advanced. There's an awful lot of fields in the uh, patient file, and not all of them are helpful. So I weeded out most of them and then left just the ones I thought would be useful and put it in the basic. But if you want to uh, look at other files, I'm sorry, other fields, then you can go to the advanced, and it has all of the fields for that file. So this is our, um, our World Vista configuration utility. It's been programmed by myself and Eddie Haygood, and uh, I think it's going to be really helpful, and I hope uh, that you all like it. All right, thanks for watching.